Here we have a very nice 2008 Audi TT FSI Coupe in silver. Looking at the offside front tyre first, in the centre of the tread depth there, there's not a lot of tread at all. We're looking at about 2mm at the most, this tyre is going to be changing quite soon. Looking at the offside front alloys, you can see there is some curbing at the top there. A little bit more curbing around the alloy as well. It's not too bad, but again it could probably do with refurb. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork for any sign of any dinks or any dents. I personally cannot see either of the two. Looking around the offside front arch, again there is a couple of light scratches that will require polish. Driver's mirror is in nice condition. Driver's door, again just one or two light scratches, that's all that, uh, that's all I can really report on to be honest. Again just requires a polish. The majority of them are very light so should have no issue. No signs of any chips down the door edge, so the driver's door is looking very clean. Uh, no dinks or dents at all to the roof, just one or two scratches on the roof, again just need a polish. Moving towards the rear arch, again nothing to report there, looks in good order. Rear tyre, this looks fairly new, you've got easily a good 5-6mm to six millimeters of tread there. Looking on the, the rear alloy, again we have got some minor curbing around the outside edge of the alloy itself, so again it's going to require a refurb. And moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Looking at the rear bumper, you do have the rear parking sensors, which is a nice feature. No signs of any damage at all on the back, so the uh, parking sensors are clearly working. Um, one or two light scratches on the back of the car, again, just require polish. As you can see, I've got the roof spoiler up there, no issues at all functioning that. Opening up the boot. You've got your parcel shelf and everything there. Nice, clean condition. And underneath here you can see you've got your age related plates, your locking wheel nut, uh, no sign of any spare wheel though. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. Again, looks like a newish tyre, so easily a good 5 to 6 mil. Near side rear alloy, we have got some curbing on the outside edge of the alloy there, so again, going to require a refurb to this alloy. Again, it's all minor stuff really. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, no signs of any um, dinks or dents at all down there either. Again, just one or two light scratches, but you can clearly see the car's been taken care of. Mirror's in nice condition, front passenger door looks very clean, uh, front arch is all in good order. And again, front tyre is going to be changing as the centre is very low. And again, a refurb to this alloy, so it is four wheel refurbs to the vehicle. And moving around to the front end of the car. As you can see, a couple of touchings required on the front quarter. Again, you've got some stone chips on the front that are going to require some touchings. And a couple of touchings on the bonnet. However, there is a good sized sort of crease in the bonnet of the vehicle. It's very hard to show you guys, but just the start. It's about its heaviest point is around here. So, again, just be wary of that. Let's take a look at the interior of the car. As you can see, you've got the full red leather interior. Driver's seat, nice condition. There is some wear into the bolster of the driver's seat, but again, that's just age related. Front passenger seat is the same, again, just a slight bit of wearing. Inside the back, again, they're not really back seats, but uh, of course, they're in lovely condition as they never really get used, so nice condition there. Dashboard, etc., is very tidy. Steering wheel's in a nice condition, of course, you get the nice flat bottom steering wheel and stepping inside the vehicle itself now we do have two sets of keys with the vehicle as you can see it's just there so two keys for the car and just starting the vehicle up service due so service light indicated in there no issues at all starting the car and we're looking at 70,594 on the clock. Car runs very nicely. Radio CD. You've also got the Bluetooth and USB in the car as well. No issues at all with the blowers. The air conditioning does come out nice and cold. You've also got heated seats in the vehicle as well, which is a nice feature. Manual box, of course. And looking at the documents now, the plate is on retention, so we've got a copy. Two owners on the vehicle, so two owners on the car. MOT expiry date here, September 30th, 2015, so it will need an MOT at the end of next month. And service history, now we have got all full Audi service history, but it is all receipts. 
as you can see if we flick through all these you can see all Audi stamps <coughs> First one there is at 18,000 miles, so that's its first service at 18. Second service was at 26,959. If we just pull up the third service, it was at 40,597. And your fourth service and last service it had by the looks of things was at 51,000 miles. So 51,000 miles being its last service. Unless there is another page here. There you go. So, by the looks of things, its last service was at 51,000 miles. So, you can see it definitely does require a service as we speak. There you go, guys. That is the 2008 Audi TT FSI Coupe in Silver.